my name is Demetopo Luoli. I am the CEO of La Posh Cakes and Kitchen. I've always had a um, passion for cooking. When I was young, I remember how, how I used to stay with my mom in the kitchen when she was always cooking. And she, had the, um, she was into the baking proper then. And you know, I used to watch her, how she does things. So I just decided one day and I decided that, well, I can also try it on my own. And I wouldn't forget one day that I, I was quite still young and I got back from school. And you know, because of the little things I had learned from my mom, I was trying to, um, I was trying to like put all those things in practice. And one of my elder brothers saw me and told me that, Papa, what are you doing? And I said, ah, uh, I, I, you know, I was just forgetting because I didn't know what to say. I was actually trying to bake, but he really beat me so hard and told me that, you know, why would I go to turn on the um, the the gas? But that didn't stop me from from what I wanted to do because that was why I discovered that I had so, you know, so much passion for it. Initially, there wasn't any fund to start with, but. I remember the, there was this book like that that I actually read from my pastor, which was start with what you have. I didn't have the fund, I didn't have anything, but I noticed that the two things I had was I had an idea and I, had, I knew I had a dream. I shared my idea with my elder ones and because I have a fa very supportive family, I told my elder sister the first cake I actually made, which actually earned me my first baking so was the cake I actually did for my nephew on his 10th year birthday, and uh, which was um, Ben 10. I actually used my hands to to um, to cream to do and um, all the other things and the cake came out beautifully well and when I sent the picture to my to my elder sister she was like wow if you don't have anything and you didn't have any tool and you can come out this beautiful obviously maybe if we support you you can you can do better so she got me my first baking tool which was an industrial mixer and an electrical oven. In fact, there were loads and loads of time that I felt like I needed to give up. But because I had this strong personality in me, being a, a, um, a combination of a strong choleric and a sanguine, I'm always determined when it comes to doing something. Whenever I put my mind to do something, I always make sure that I see the end of that thing before I stop. So that was like the zeal I had that I could, I could do anything. When com um, com my customers make um, like good comments like, ah, we're really wild, it really gives me so much joy. The thing I noticed that I have been enjoying is just the grace of God. There's no special way that I have been doing it. It's just the same way every other cake maker out there has been doing it, but it's just the grace of God that stands me out. Starting might be really, really, really difficult, but the thing is that if you have a dream, don't think about what people will say. When you start caring about what people think of you or what people will say about you, it's something that will really weigh you down. But the thing is that you know who you are, you know who God has called you to be. Don't think about the negativity or don't think about what people will say. There would always be people criticizing you, but the thing is you have to stand up to your dream and leave it. That's it.